So, good day everybody. It's yours truly, WC Hamilton. Here we are, yet again, at the login screen for Minecraft uh, with the modded Reador server. And I'll let you probably guess why we're here. It's because I got another message saying that if I log into the server, that I should record, or be recording, when I log in, just in case, I guess, there was something at my base that I needed to get a reaction to. So let's, uh, I, I don't know where I logged out again. And maybe it's Gid's base, it maybe my base, we'll see. And, oh. Okay, we're at my base. That's a good start. That's a good start. Oh God, Chuck. Uh. Oh, this is Chuck. In case y'all didn't watch the live stream, I found a next spirit and I named him Chuck. <laughs> he helps me if I oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, Noticed you had problems with your cakes. Uh it it center of the cake, that's the best. Okay. Let's see, can I Can I open these? Can I open any chest? Uh, oh okay, 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 okay. Oh, there's a diamond block over it. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, yeah. So, on the live stream the other day, uh, I was I was trying to make these ender cakes because these are the end cakes because they um, <laughs> if, if you right click them, they'll take you to the end. They're like little end portals, right? Well, I was having some issues with that, well, to say the least. I made like, I don't know, three or four cakes before I finally got it to work. Ew, they look gross underneath. Um, but we finally got it to work, so. A little present from Wild Trekker here, so. Thanks, sir, I appreciate it. <laughs> now I have to eat all these. Oh, man. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wow. That is a lot of Oh, and you got me melons too. Oh, that's cool. That's another thing I was eating. Chocolate covered strawberries. <gasps> oh man, this is cool. <laughs> so many good treats. Wrapped chocolates, chocolate bars, eggs. Oh, sweet. Thank you, we can open our own little bakery shop over here, unless he's probably already done that somewhere. <laughs> oh, thank you, Wild Tracker, that's cool. All right, guys, so yet again, here we are. Like, I'm not gonna lie, because you guys are smart, you'd figure it out. Y'all are y'all are super smart. Um, I haven't recorded anything else since that first prank clip the, that Wild Tracker did with the cakes. And many of you probably I've watched his video, seen it, I already know what it's gonna be, so it's not really a surprise at this point. But, I, I got another message today, as well, saying, hey, next time you log in, make sure you're recording. I was like, all right, <laughs> this time it's from Scalper Skid. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're going to log into the server and see what fate has dropped on our doorstep. <laughs> All right, so let's see, there's somebody on here. I wonder if it's him or not. Also, I don't know if you noticed anything different. I hung up some uh, some foam on the back wall to see if that helps cut down some of the internal reverberation in the room. Uh, let's see. Dude, okay, now it's Blaze. Hey. All right, so it's not, this is a cake. I, I took down some of it. Uh, it's not in here. It must be on the surface. Oh my gosh! Wow! Dude! Whoa! Whoa! Dude, I didn't even know you could do this! Oh, I got a bar now! I'm gonna go in here. Oh, I just got a cow statue. Why is it not working? I thought you could... No. 
There it goes. Ha! <laughs> it makes a, it makes a leather. Oh, cool! It's got a loft and everything. What are these? Like mini trees? <gasps> oh, that's so cool! Look at this cow. Look at this cow. These two cows. Looks like it's a like a conjoined twin or something, but it's not, because that's not a thing in Minecraft. Are they? Is this still working? Oh, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, dude, this is so neat. This is so neat. Oh, look it. It's got a loft with hay bales in it and windows. <gasps> what is this? I don't know, but it's neat. Block of quartz slabs. Man. Here I go thinking I was going to be pranked. And, ah! And I got a new, I got a new building. So neat. <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Skid, for this. This is awesome. I certainly do appreciate it. Now, on to the episode. All right, guys. Official start to the episode right here and now. Yours truly, WC Hamilton, joining you here on the modded Ariador server. Where I'm in a bit of a, a bit of a jam right now. If you look right here. I got some armor, but it's not its not doing too well. I crafted some new boots, crafted a new helmet. I went to go get some withers earlier and uh, lost some of these. These aren't repairable, by the way. Titanium, if you didn't know that. Titanium armor, can't repair it. You're like, all right, that's cool. What, what the heck are those? Something just broke. That was weird. Maybe it was one of the villagers. Maybe, but I shouldn't be able to hear him from there. That was bizarre. It's, I swear it sounded like broken armor. Anyway, um, why? Why does something weird happen to me? <laughs> Ugh, I hate that. I don't even know. I don't even know what it was. All this looks the same. Huh. Nobody's in there. Very strange. Sorry, get sidetracked. Uh, <laughs> so we've got this this stuff here. You're like, okay, well, what's what's with the wings there? Well, the wings are, um, well, they're wings. They're they're these angel ring dragon wings. <laughs> and I made this the other day because we were able to fly around now, and it works kind of like. Whoops. See, there you go. If you double tap space, it works like creative. So if you double tap space, you start to fly. And then if you hold shift, you go down, and you can like move around and stuff, and it's easier to break blocks and place blocks and stuff, and build and craft and create and be creative and awesome, which is why I haven't been playing as much, because I'm none of those things. Just kidding, haha. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, this is really cool. <laughs> Something else that I found out the hard way is that if you accidentally double click it, no damage, no fall damage. That's right. The angel blocks are, or angel angel wings, excuse me, are actually pretty darn useful when it comes to all that stuff. Look at this, boom. And you're like, well, that's, 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 that's not that high. And, you know, take the boots off. Show you there's nothing there. Eh, poof, nothing. No pain, no problem. But we still can get hurt by other things. So that's why I made these these battle suit plates. You're like, okay, well, what is that? Well, battle suit plates are pure and simple enough. Battle suit plates are used to make the battle suit. <laughs> so basically, you just put the plates in the, in the crafting table like you would make normal armor, and it makes these battle suits, which, at first glance, they don't really offer that much protection. You see, it's like a protection eight. This one's three, six, three. Great. But. The key here is that you'll notice there's a little red thing over there. It says charge, 50,000. But what that means is that these battle suit pieces can be charged by RF. We can hook them up to our system and charge them up, and they'll take the damage instead of us. So as long as they've got power, they'll be they'll keep on working. But there's also more to it than that. What else you, can you make with this? You can make this eviscerator rod. And let me show you what this does. Evi okay, that's probably all we need. <laughs> the eviscerator. This this right here, plus 26 attack damage. I know you can make a tinker tool that has way more than that. Petty's probably already got 10 of them. 
But the thing that's cool about this is you can use this tool for anything. You can use it for digging stuff, you can use it for hammering, and not just like, and, as, and you can use it as a sword. But it also takes RF charge, and if you let it run out of charge, it can actually start to hurt you. So that's something we have to keep in mind when we're using it. But I do want to make all of these things today in this episode, as well as a way to actually keep them charged. So the first things first, let's start with the building of the suit of awesome. <laughs> that's what I'm going to call it, the suit of awesome. Let's say do, 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 do. We got this. We're gonna get some pants going. And there we go. There we go. Now now if I take these off and I put these on here, it's not gonna do me any good. Cause it but look at me. I look like Master Chief with dragon wings. But still, oh my gosh. This is cool. This is cool. Actually, I look like Master Chief anyway, because <laughs> of my because of my skin. But okay. Uh, so where did my okay boots are on? All right, we're good. We're 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 prepped up. We've got our stuff here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to build I want to build one of these guys. So we need an eviscerator. We need two eviscerator rods. So it's six. We need twelve. How many do we have? We have eight. <gasps> I have to make some more plates, and we need more of this too, right? So. I need six more of those, another star, three diamonds, and a, two nuggets. Four diamonds. Five, five diamonds. <laughs> yeah, five diamonds. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna craft those up real quick, just in case you wanna see it real quick. Boom, boom, battle plates. Use these things right here. Stuff, I'm not gonna show you how to make all that. It's very expensive, but it's well worth it. We'll be right back. And we are back, we've got our Battle plates. I think I, I made a few extra, but we'll see. It's not a huge deal either way. We're gonna make two. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make the battle suit. No, the eviscerator rod. That's what we're looking for. Two of those. Whoops, right there. And two of those. Yes, we need two rods. All right. Then we're gonna need this. We just shift click that in there. Okay. Did not shift click it. Oh well. Uh, yeah, so we have two extra plates. That's fine. Eviscerator head. Excellent. And the eviscerator. Go away, crafting menu. Okay. So now we have the eviscerator. The full suit of armor. Right right over here. It's not quite in the right order. There we go. Now we just need a way to charge it. And I think the way that we're going to do that here first is with a... Energetic infuser. <laughs> I remembered what it was. So we need a leadstone energy cell, two redstone transmission coils, this stuff right here. I think I actually have all that. Let's see. Leadstone. I don't have. Okay. Reds okay, I, I do have two of these, which is good. I have one of these, which is fine. I need copper gears, was it? Sweet. I got two of those. I need a machine frame. Excellent. We have one of those. And what was the other thing? Oh yeah, leadstone energy cell. How do I make that? That is super dirt cheap. Glass, redstone, and lead. I can just, oops. Let's just do like that. No! Give me one. I want one. Uh, glass, I ha oh, that's perfect. Glass. All right, here we go. We're gonna do this. This is all one, one cut. There's no, no cuts, I don't know. Uh, this. This and one step at a time. There we go. All right, that, that, this here, this here, and the final piece. Shapow! Energetic infuser. And I think all we have to do is just hook it up to some power. So, right here looks good. <laughs> All right, it's getting power, excellent. And now if we just place in our doodads, it'll start getting charged. And then if we, I think we can like log in some help. So let's let's do this, let's retire this armor. It's, it's done, we, maybe we use it for certain things, but let's retire that for now. And we'll come back when this is fully charged. 
And there we go, guys. It is all supercharged up. Let's put it on and see how we do. One, two, three, four, and this. This one tool, if it, if it does like it says it does, it could take over for all of these things. So let's go, let's try it out on some dirt. Oh my gosh. All right, we don't need a shovel anymore. Let's try it out on some wood. Oh, yep, don't need an ax. <laughs> uh, let's try it on a cobble. Oh, look how fast it is. Oh gosh. Yep, we don't need, we don't need that. I guess we'll keep this one just because, just because it can do a three by three. And then we definitely don't need the sword anymore. I wish there was something around here that wasn't my cows that I could kill. Let's see if we can get a squid. I know they don't take a lot of damn, like, like they don't take a lot of hits to kill them, but just, boop. Oh yeah. <laughs> and just for comparison's sake, I think this takes two hits to kill them. Let's see. I could be wrong. Hit him once, he's still swimming. Hit him, hit him again. There we go, <laughs> okay. Yeah, see? So we can do away with the sword, the shovel, and the pickaxe. And just keep this guy for everything. <laughs> and all we have to do is just keep it charged. Sweet, I love it. Stupid rain. So let's just put them, put them in a chest like this. This will give us some extra, extra space in our inventory as well. Excellent. <laughs> let's go eviscerate something. <laughs> Oh boy, I just had the crap scared out of me. No joke. Like, an alarm clock started going off and I'm looking around on my computer, like trying to figure out, is there anybody in TeamSpeak? Is there something going on with the recording? Or is there something over? No, it's stupid flim flam again. Acting up to no good. Oh, there's stuff over here. Uh, but anyway, the next thing that we want to do is we're going to make these upgrade tokens. And what the upgrade tokens do is let you get special abilities for your battle suit. So in this case, for the chest piece, you can get flight, which, you know, we've already got flight, but there's a reason why we want this one. Uh, this one, you can get momentum, which I assume is speed. This one is strength, so you could hit things harder and probably does a good one with our eviscerator. And then the last one here is visibility, which I think is night vision. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. So what I wanted to do was put this eviscerator to the test. You got, you know, I got my battle suit on. I got my thing charged. It's doing pretty good. So we're gonna take on all four of these withers at the same time, or nearly the same time, because they're, I can't place all the blocks together. So let's see, let's see how it does. I'm gonna, we're out here at our wither spot. Oh, oh, there we go, we're starting, we're starting already. Okay, uh, starting, there it is. All right, that's one down. Wow, this thing does some crazy damage to these dudes. Okay, that's, that's two of them. These guys are just staring. These guys are just staring. Okay. What are you, what are you looking at, guy? Oh, okay, he's good now. He's fighting. Weirdo. Come on. Man, fight me like a man, you loser. <laughs> there we go. All right, wasn't wasn't too difficult to be honest. Uh, let's see. I have two Nether stars. I need to find two more. That's the one. Oh, the one problem with doing this. One of several, but n probably the most important problem with doing Nether. Oh, there we go. One, two. Yes. Is, is like accidentally losing your stuff. Uh, so we got four nether stars. We have three more division sigils and three more hearts that we don't need. <laughs> so now let's go back to the base and put these things to work and get some upgrades going on. And so here we are yet again, finding ourselves at the at the crafting table, let's just be honest. Let's see, uh, darn it. 
All right, we need, let's start with one. I don't know if we need, if it, it I think it applies to it. Let's see, I need a feather. Do I have a feather? Yes, I do. Okay, so this is gonna be the test right here. Does it use this upgrade token? It probably does. That, I, that's, what my, that's what I'm thinking, it uses it. Let's see, can I make it with one that's semi-charged? Yes. Yeah, okay, it uses it, it uses it. So we need to make four of these. One, two, three, oops, they don't stack. One, two, three, all right. Uh, we're gonna put that back on. And then what does what does this need? Lapis, redstone, okay, I've got that. And spider eye, okay. Spider eye, yep, got one. We got redstone on us, and we're gonna shift left click one of those out of there. Boom! All right, here we go. Oh yeah, boop boop boop. And I think it's the pants, right? Yep, charged up super pants, super fancy pants, and this. Yep, and so that leaves the spider eye for the helmet. And I guess we'll just put it like that, like that, and like that. Haha! -ha. Oh, and it charged it for us. Sweet. So now. Ooh, oh, my vision just zoomed. Look at us, we're playing Quake Pro right here. Oh my gosh. Let's go up. We're, we might have to, if we're gonna be wearing this, look at it. So, night vision? Night vision's wearing off. Go away. Right, two, one, and off. Okay, so it's night vision, flight, Strength and momentum, but here's the thing uh, they use power as like as you can see they, they, they use power slowly over time Just by having those abilities. So that's something we're gonna have to keep in mind that we need to Keep them charged so that's something else we're gonna work on as well But Yeah, all right, so you've got night vision flight strength and momentum so momentum That's where we get this like weird field of view Adjustment see look at that Zoom out, zoom in. And I, I liked it, I liked it, or I, I said that backwards, but whatever. So let's say that we do 60. That looks about like what we normally would use, but now we're way faster. Here's the other thing though too, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take this off, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fly from like here over to there. Wait, hold on. Yeah, I think that's okay. So I'm pretty fast, right? Actually, this feels like I'm way fast. Hold on, let's take all this off. All right, so this is me flying normally, okay? This is me flying with just the angel wings, okay? So now let's put on this and we're gonna take off the angel wings. Where are they? They are here. Okay, so now we've got flight, even though we're not wearing the wing, oh. We're still wearing the stupid wings. Hold on, put them away. There we go. Oh, dang it. <laughs> All right, we still have flight. We're not wearing the wings. We got this on. We got that, okay. Flight, now watch this. Add this, this back on, this back on. Whoa. I didn't actually know how that worked. I thought it was just the, the thing, but it's apparently the boots as well. So it probably works with the angel wings too, but we don't need dragon wings in our battle suit. Oh man, look how fast we are, dude. This is crazy, just zooming around. We'll get to places in no time. Oh, awesome. And barely using anything. Let's see, I don't like this dirt. Huh. Whack, whack a dirt. Whoop, whoop, whack a dirt. Ah. <laughs> Actually, let's go clean up this mess that I made over here. No problem, I'll just fly over there at supersonic speeds. I'm like Superman, flying through the sky, ready to cut down trees and stuff that I accidentally left up here. Like this, ready? Like, oh, like this guy. Where'd it go? Get it. Eviscerate. Destroy. Get rid of, yes, excellent. Oh, so awesome. Is there a king slime nearby? Not at that one, let's go to the other one. Ha 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 ha. Super fast. Uh, faster than the world can load. I think it's somewhere around here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? 
Ladder. Looking for a ladder. Uh. Oh, there it is. We went too far. We're too fast. We're too far. Still no King Slime. Hmm. Oh well. We know it'd kill it. <laughs> Just a few swipes with this beast, and you're done for, stupid. And we've got extra inventory space. Oh, you could do a thing right now. Oh well. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, get it. And I guess you still don't take any damage from that. Oh, that's awesome. Didn't even, I, I hardly any charge loss on that either. Crazy, dude. This battle suit is intense. I am stoked. I'm ready to fight. Fight these guys, fight these guys. Ready? Whack, done. Whack, done. <laughs> Get this Enderman, stupid, stupid jerker. Whack, oh wait, hit him. There we go, Ender Pearl for me, thanks. Oh, oh creeper? No problem. Creeper problem? Done. Solved. Eviscerate. Whack. Whack. Nothing Nothing can touch me. You can't. I'm tearing up the landscape. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at us. Whack. Oh, whack. Whoops. Whack. Whoo. Oh. Huh. Oh, crap. <laughs> but look. No damage. Still 60, 60 on the thing. Got arrows in my neck. No problem. Just charge it on up. I, I I missed that one creeper. That was that was my bad. That wasn't the suit's bad. That was that was my bad. I panicked, panic clicked, and like didn't do it right. But that's okay. I can fix it up because I have the ability of flight, and the ability to fix things with dirt, like like that, and that. We'll probably we'll probably have to get some more dirt because I I blew up the ground. But still, battle suit. So I am back on the Modded Reador server after a few days hiatus from my last part of the clip where I made the battle suit. And um, a lot has happened, both in, in my personal life and in my Minecraft game and all kinds of stuff. But we're only here about talking about the Minecraft stuff, so let's get to it. Uh, as many of you, or some of you, may, some many of you may have seen, the, I did a live stream, I think it was two days ago, maybe three days ago, and I, I, I did something a little different. I did a world tour of my old Feed the Beast world that I had made um, many months ago and wanted to show off some of the things I had done and modded in the past and give you guys an idea. Why do I keep zooming in and out? Like this, this is running out or something. Um, but uh, afterwards, people were still into the stream. We were still talking. And they're like, you know, what do you want to do? So I, I kind of got some inspiration when I was when I was on on there. And I wanted to build a house because it's, it's like, you know, it's time for me to roll up my sleeves, get to work, build a house from the ground up, you know, like a man. And uh, stop sleeping on a bed out in the middle of the forest. So that's what we did. And let me show you what we came up with. Let's just walk over this way, and here we go. Nice little cute mailbox here. This is actually a, a mailbox that actually will tie into my, it, it ties into my storehouse. So you see the items get sucked out, it'll go into the storehouse. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we've got my little lawnmower up here. <laughs> I built this after the live stream, so nobody's seen it yet. <laughs> uh, well, Petty and a, a few of the people on here have seen it. Yeah, we got a nice little, let's go, let's go, let's go a little walk around, because I did some more stuff since the live stream. I decorated it a little, a little bit more. You got my AC unit running away over here, making the the heat exchanger, make sure it's nice and cool inside. Got a little garden hose, some another downspout, bushes all over the place. And very nice, very important. Let's go inside. Yes. I, of course, one of the big... Uh, comforts of home is having a nice huge flat screen TV with some some nice speakers and an Xbox and an Xbox <laughs> got my nice little little comfy couch right here uh, with my ornamental lamp very fancy uh, this is a table I forgot to put chairs around but <laughs> this is like my little dining room table uh, it, it's very, it's very, co it's very cozy, very home, homely, kind of like it's a studio apartment ranch house is kind of how how I look at it. But it's got, look at, it's got beams in the ceiling, very high end, very fancy, uh, and then a nice little compact kitchen. But it gets the job, job bleh, <laughs> it gets the job done. Stainless steel countertops, stainless steel appliances. Look at this nice white refrigerator. Equip. There's no food in it yet because I haven't been to the store, but you could put food in it. Um, you got the backsplash is a, a really uh, 
unique Italian tile that I that I got uh, from a, a a gentleman handcrafted for me and put it and I and I put it on the walls. Then we've got some open concept uh, cabinetry. <laughs> Right next to it is our lovely little fireplace. It's uh, keeping me toasty warm. And of course, the bedroom. And when I say room, I just mean the, the bed corner. But uh, you know, you got a little desk because you got to have a desk for your coffee. And even though I don't drink coffee, but you know, somebody might. So it's there. If somebody else wants it. Uh, Petty is there to watch me sleep. Nothing weird about that. Uh, I got a little spider. Sp a statue and a, a silverfish trophy and a little chest full of some stuff and of course my 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 dresser it doesn't have any clothes in it because i just i just wear the same you know suit all the time but if i did wear other clothes they would go they would go in that armoire yeah and then uh oh, oh of course the the floor the floor pattern suggested by one of you guys in the stream very top notch, very classy, like a like mix of new and old wood types. You know, re it's all reclaimed wood. You know, reclaimed wood. You can, and plus we've got little little trees growing here. Very very high end, very modern, very sleek looking. That's that's what we're going for. We want a nice, it, not not too over the top. It's not a mansion. It's, it's only got it's one one big room. Kitchen's right there in the bedroom. If I make something smells bad, you know, I got to smell it while I go to sleep. You know, very minimalistic, but we, we, you know, we have nice things, you know, we, but we, but we take care of it and then we'll just walk out this way out the front door. Oh, sorry. And then, uh, you know, obviously you can go, go into the barn. I need to put in maybe like a little path or maybe, maybe even a driveway, put a, we'll, we'll get a car or something that we can put out here. But yeah. It just takes you right into the barn and, uh, you know, oh, oh, cows. Yep. So uh, you know, make sure you know if they're okay that they have everything they need. Um, whenever, whenever they're, you know, oh, oh, he died. Oh well. Um, but yeah, make sure that they're comfortable at least uh, while they're in here. But yeah, I think that it's a good time to end the episode. I know, I know, it's sad. It's always sad when when things come to an end, as we find out. But it has to happen sometime. But at least we're in good company. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, oh, I can't, I can't shield block with this. This is what 1.9 is gonna be like. Right click and nothing happens. <sighs> but anyway, <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I've been WC Hamilt, and we'll see you all next time. Bye. That's what I'll do. I'll just, I'll just do like this. Bye. <laughs>